as you can see, you know, the pricing, the best. And we are trying to give people homes, not just houses. Places that when they are, they will be comfortable to, you know, do whatever they want to do, a good environment, safety. We are trying to bring everything together to make the place a home. Mm. So that when you are here, you can, you know, just feel it that yeah, this is not just about Agazi, it's about everyone. Good morning from Star Properties. How are you all doing? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here. And I'm back again with another video. And this video is more gonna be like a vlog, but at the end of the day, I'm also going to work, yeah? I mean, when you ask so many African parents, what job does your son or daughter do? Most of you will be like, he's a doctor, he's an engineer, he's a lawyer, he's a professor. But when it comes to me, Believe it or not, my mom doesn't know the kind of job that I do. She knows that like I make YouTube videos, but what is my profession? If you don't know who I am, my name is Wadamaya, your one and only annoying village boy who is on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa. But personally, my profession, I was an engineer, yeah, aeronautical engineer that I quit just to follow my passion. And my passion is creating YouTube videos. We appreciate what you're doing. Ah, you thank you, man. Thank I'm you. on my work today. And what work am I going to do today? I'm actually going to feature a real estate property. I mean, if I say feature, we're here to um, promote a real estate property in Tema. Yeah, but my mom came to visit me. My mom came to visit me. You all know that my mom had a problem with her eyes and uh, I took her to a doctor to fix it. Hi. So can you see this hand? <laughs> <laughs> How many? Yeah. So she's here for what do you call it, a review, yeah? And I felt like, you know what, why not do something different? Take my mom along because my mom has never been around any day that I'm filming a YouTube video, yeah? So I just want to take my mom around and see how she's going to react. I mean, for her to see the behind the scene of my work and then also have a few conversations with my mom in terms of what job does your son do? Anyway, anytime my sister dresses me, I look like a rich man. That's why I love my sister so much. So my sister got a fashion design shop called Duke's Fashion. You all should check the link in the description, purchase one and go support my sister. Damn it, I look so good, yeah? I love you sis and you all should buy from my sister. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. You slept well? Yes. Hey, and my is giving me simple answers. You slept well, yes. Are you okay? Yes. Like, yes, yes. So, okay, you're going to work to, with me today. Yes. What, what job do I do? I have a man. Uh-huh. You are a YouTuber. A YouTuber? <laughs> okay. So, I know that today you're going to see behind the scenes of what a buyer what I do every morning. Okay. Yeah? You ready? Yes, I'm Say ready. hello to them. Hello. And they should come along with us. Yeah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please like this video. It means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that anytime we upload a video, you'll be notified. Traveling in Africa is extremely expensive, but we are trying our possible best to put Africa on the map. Please donate a dollar on our GoFundMe page or our Patreon page to support our African travels. Thank you so much and I appreciate you all. You have an oil and gas company. Why start a real estate business? Mm -hmm. I was living here alone in the bush. So I sit down and said, why can't I create a community on my own for people to move in so that the whole place become full of? So if you can even see, the structures are affordable. Yeah. Everything is affordable. So any mere man can buy the movie. I didn't intend of making huge amount of profit or money from it. So that's it. But that's my main reason. Let, let me know. You build this with a loan or your own money? With my own money, no loan. Atumagi, car owner. Yeah, come, come. 
Oh, I do. Uh, babe. I don't know what my mom feels real. Eh? Nah, it's okay. Here, yeah, it's okay. Hey. What's up, Aggie? Fine. Uh-huh. Cool. Hmm. I would not know. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure 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 what to do. Are the marketing manager yes for agazi homes yes can, can i check in yes please wow. go ahead thank you wow so <laughs> this is the living area wow you have your dining space you have your sitting space all here this it, i don't i don't believe you how wow. many bedrooms is this this is four bedrooms four bedroom and how much are you selling this One sixty thousand dollars what The kitchen, I told you, it's almost finished. This comes with it at no extra cost. And it's good brands, quality brands. The sink is very good. We don't give you any inferior product here. You see? So your extractor, your washing machine here, your banner, and it's actually a five banner. <laughs> so you can see one, two, three, four, five. All inclusive. Your fridge over here. So, no, this are, these are all part of my $160,000? Yes. yes, all parts. You have your inbuilt oven and microwave. I, I want to see the bedrooms. Sure. No, I, this is so good to be true. <laughs> it's actually true. So this is one bedroom wow. down. And all the rooms are in suite. So all every room comes with suite. its own toilet and then bath. For a felt bedroom, mm -hmm. this is so big. Yes. I mean, you could use this as your guest room, or you could style this as a home office if you want. So we'll show you a couple of other houses where we've styled it differently. Hmm. So the rest of the bedroom are upstairs? Yes, yes. Then you have the visitor's washroom over here. So three rooms up here. Hmm. Let's check out the master bedroom. Nice thing to see. Ooh. You feel like Ooh. sleeping, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sleeping, but I love salt bed, you know. Oh! <laughs> Are we still filming? So, the master bedroom comes with a walk-in closet. And then, this is the closet area. This is spacious. Huge. For all your yeah, cool things. So, it can be hairs and hairs. Yes. No, hairs and hairs. You know, hey. women, we have a lot of things. So we will take the, the <laughs> bigger space. <laughs> we are choosing the men always. <laughs> and then you have the balcony. You have a balcony? Yes. So in the evening, mm. you can sit here. Mm. This is unbelievable. Four bedroom for $160,000. That's unbelievable. So she's the marketing manager for Agazi Homes. So she's the one that I'm filming the video with. Yeah, tell us something about yourself, babe. Oh, so I'm Margaret. Um, really? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Tell me. No, I won't tell you now. Okay. I'm just. Remind me that I want to tell you something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I am the marketing mm. manager for Agazi Homes. Hmm. So the community comes with um, a lap pool, a mini mat, oh. a kids playground. Wow. <laughs> and then the roads are as far as this is just the first coast that has been done. Okay. There are trees that have been planted as you can all see all around. You have so the the interior also has beautiful landscapes hmm. which you could actually inf um, influence on the design that you want. And actually, you can, you can make changes to the interior if you want. 
if you want. Yes. What about the exterior? The exterior, we want uniformity, so you can't change. You can't change anything outside. Oh, wow, they planted flowers. Yes. It's been three hours of filming. We're done with the first phase of the video. It's time for us to shoot the second phase of the video. The first phase is more like talking to the CEO, getting to know his story. Story that might probably inspire most of you. So if you haven't seen the video, check out um, the link in the description. Watch and be inspired. It's time to go check out my mom, man. I'm so sorry. Like, I feel so sad bringing my mom in here. Because sometimes she thinks I don't do anything. She thinks I just go around, just put cameras on my face, I'm done, and I do a YouTube video. So I just wanted to come along with her. So yeah, I hope she's not asleep because it's been three hours since I left. <laughs> my mom is tired already. She's sleeping. So you guys don't need to disturb her. Let her enjoy her sleep and uh, it's time for lunch. Let me go and organize some food for my mom. One thing about my mom is like, she doesn't like eating rice. If you give her rice, she thinks she has not eaten the whole day if she eats rice. So I'm gonna look for something like kenke. That's what she used to sell before. So she's definitely a big fan of kenke. So I mean, let me just go organize some kenke for my mom. <laughs> The floors are tiled oh. with the grass in between. And for the flooring, you can you could do, um, decide in how you want it. If you want it this way or you want it a different way, I mean... Is it not slippery? Oh no, no it's, it's not. not. It's not. Wow. If you don't want it tiled, whichever way you want, it can be done for you. Because this one is still inside, so... You're buying a 150,000 house and they still want to customize it <laughs> for you. Yes. You will never get that anywhere. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to talk too much, yeah? I, I'm just trying to let you know that this is so good to be true. So you need to just reach out the numbers on your screen and just make that purchase, man. It, it's worth it. And if it doesn't go well, call my name, okay? My name is Watermeyer. <laughs> of the three bedroom and this is an open kitchen concept wow so you have two options you could choose the closed or the open kitchen it still comes with all appliances i love the open kitchen thank you it looks so pretty thank you nice. so your oven your microwave your nice gas hob and that's the strata hiding there <laughs> oh yes nice and your washing machine right here and this is inclusive? Mm hmm The ACs are inclusive? Inclusive, 2.5 horsepower. The TVs are not inclusive? No, no, no. no Bring no. your own TVs, please. <laughs> mm. That one, I will not even allow them. <laughs> oh, I love the interior design. Thank you. Ooh. So we have the guest washroom here. So this is a three bedroom? Three bedroom, one room down and two up. All rooms and suites. Oh, this is big. Wow. All the three rooms are in suite? Yes. Mm, take a look at this. So cute. Wow. Can we go up this? I'm going to see how it looks like the master bedroom. Okay. Ah. <laughs> so. Oh, we have got a nice window That's here. That's more like a storage, right? Mm -hmm. This is the master bedroom. Okay. Whoa. We shall walk in closet. Jeez. And balcony as well. Balcony as well. Good morning, my neighbors. <laughs> You guys didn't respond. It's all right. I don't have neighbors yet. Because I'm getting this one. This is how much again? $150,000. Okay. I want this one. You want this one? Yeah. Okay. So 3v5 going for Wadamaya. Yep. Oh. His and his. I always choose the big side. <laughs> <laughs> and your washroom here, you have his and his sink as well. 
Oh, nice. So this one, if you're fighting with your wife, you can still sleep. You just use this and she'll use this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then an enclosed WC. See? Hidden nicely, modern. It all comes. Your water heater right up there. And this was done by one person. Mm-hmm. No loans. No. He's investing for you people to come and support his business. People of Accra don't know how to make kinky, even though they originated kinky. I want my mom to taste and see because my mom used to sell kinky and it is way better than the kinkies that I eat in Accra, by the way. So I will let my mom confirm what I'm saying and then we're going to take it from there. I don't know what okay. Here is okay. Fine. Uh huh. Cool. Hmm. I was not. I didn't know what to I I didn't not I Yes. <laughs> no, no, one eighty thousand dollars. Well, I told her about one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I wouldn't see where you twenty nine for. No, cities. Cities. <laughs> Current Ghana city, yeah, two point one million Ghana city. Two point twenty billion. Twenty billion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's the payment plan to? So you do 20% down payment and then you have 24 months to pay the rest. Interest free. Two years? Interest free, no interest. And then the good thing is that we don't give you a fixed amount to pay. You pay at your own convenience and on your own terms. So you can decide, oh, I want to pay every month, maybe 2,000. I want to pay every quarter. I want to, I want to pay the balance in two installments anyhow. What we need is that by the end of the two years, you're done paying. And if by the end of the two years, I'm not done paying, what are you going to do? You're so, going to take back your house? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we won't take back our house. So now you see, we have other arrangements with financial institutions for external mortgage. Hmm. So if at the end of the two years, you're not done, we would always recommend you to speak to a financial firm for a mortgage. So they can give you maybe up to 20 years based on your age and all of that. Wow. So we wouldn't take back the house. <laughs> no, this is such an incredible deal, man. Mm -hmm. I, I, I am buying one. How many units remaining? Oh, we have about um, 80 units available now. So a lot for everybody, a lot. I'm buying one, so 79 remaining? Yes. <laughs> Please, let's do this. I mean, the fact that we are Africans, let's support mm -hmm. Africans, man. Mm -hmm. Own a house in Ghana for just $150,000. Yes. Two years payment plan. Interest free. Interest free. That's what I love. Interest yes. free. I hate interest. No interest. No. I want to know: Do you need more money, or do you need a lot more capital before you start up a business in Ghana? No. Are you sure about that? No. If you, if you have a huge capital lying in your account or at hand. To start a business, you end up making a lot of mistakes. But if it is coming bit by bit, bit by bit, mm. that one, when you are doing, you take your time to do the best. 
and not the quantity. What are the kind of mistakes that you made? Oh. To me, I, I see every mistake to be a lesson to me. So I don't see my mistake to be too much mistake. It is an education to me. Do you have mentors? Me? Yeah. No. Only God. You told me that your reverend told you to get married. When you get married, everything will be all right. Did everything get all right when you got married? Yeah, 100%. More than right. Wife supported the journey. Exactly. And she has a position in the company? Yes. She's a director in the company. Wow. Is she waiting for me? If you have a message for a young couple, what would that message be? Okay, as I said earlier, you just have to pray. There is nothing God cannot do. That is what I believe in. I don't have any malam, any traditionalist that would do anything for me. And we have none. But then when you put God first, everything is possible. Young ladies coming up now with this, they all want rich guys to get married to. And it doesn't work like that. You can start bit by bit. And then if God is in control of everything, it will work well. But then young girls, you want cash, big house, big cars. It doesn't work. Even with that, there'll be no respect in it. Because the guy is already built everything for himself. So then nothing works. Yes, so young ladies up there, young couples up there, what I'll tell them is, they should just keep God first. I don't do anything without God. Everything is in. So they should just pray. They should stop nagging. Nagging doesn't help at all. Just wish your partner the best and everything will move on well. Vanessa. You are an interior designer. Yes, I am. For Agazi Homes. For Agazi Homes. And you're also a diaspora. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you, you're trying to design this to meet the diaspora market. I guess you could say that. Something contemporary, simple, <laughs> you know, something that we all can kind of vibe with. Because we all have a different style, you see. Wow. And most of us kind of want something. We like to keep storage away. So, you know, the TV mounts hidden. We've got some understair storage for you as well that you can utilize. It is a four bedroom, but we've made it into a three bedroom with an office. Okay. And we've utilized the underfloor storage. So that's something that we thought we could do for the client. Wow. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I've been in the industry more than seven years. More than seven years? <laughs> yeah. Seven years in the industry. You, you actually look like Denta. Do you, I? Yep. Oh, that's a compliment. Really? That is a big compliment. No, she's you look, beautiful, isn't she? You're beautiful as oh, well. thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're making me shy. <laughs> you still sound more English. <laughs> yeah, you're based in the diaspora. Now you're back in Ghana. Makes me a catch you. Oh, which I catch you? Oh, that's right. And take catch your mumbo mumbo if you. What can you say? Catch your mumbo if you. And no, no, no. Mumbo invest you if you. I don't see can you break. I didn't know some mumbo if you. Because if you, if you, I put you there, say, we age you make a car, how do you see if you? I mean, that's how my parents raised us. We always used to invest back at home. So we have homes in Dantuman, at Chimota, you know, like most Africans do. So I always encourage coming home. If you have a message for Africans, what would that message be? I think we should be proud of what we have. I think that's one of the things. I think with my career, I've tried to, I always, put my Ghanaian projects in the forefront because Ghana is still developing. Mm. It was one of the first African countries to gain its independence. Exactly. Um, but I still think we have quite a bit to go. There's a lot of young kids now coming to Ghana and obviously making a, you know, a difference. The entertainment scene, the construction scene, exactly. the medical scene. Exactly. So I would definitely encourage more and more of us to come home. Don't be streamlined to thinking that we're living in huts and it's struggle central. If we don't come home and make that change, that change actually won't occur. So that would be my little... That, that comes to my next question. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa or Ghana in general, what would it be? I would generally say 
regulating things, getting things in order. I think a lot of people are misled. Um, we don't know where to find the right information mm. for things. Um, yeah, I think generally just miss like just guidelines, getting to know where you can go and get your land certificate done, who to speak to if you're having trouble with the law or, you know, there's a lot of issues when it comes to construction and land ownership mm. and purchasing and mm. even mortgages and mm. interest rates, those things. I mean, there's several banks that are given great options. There are several contractors that are amazing. Mm. There are developers such as Agazi Homes that are also readily available to work with the diasporans. But I think a lot of us come home and sometimes we are misguided mm. or misinformed mm. and then it becomes a stressful ordeal to kind of handle business here in Ghana. So I would always encourage that we should let the information be more readily out there. That's very important. Thank you so much for talking to me. In it. <laughs> Everyone does the in it with me. In it. That, that's the only English word that I know. In it. So what's your name again? Margaret. Margaret. Hey, Lynn. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> uh, you see? Uh -huh. Okay. All right.